Now, I know technically I'm supposed to be doing a Soul Blazer video, but the truth is, because of the malfunction fail that happened in the last video, and the fact that I just want to sort of get this in. Also, Castlevania 4 done. I want to get this game done as soon as I possibly can. So, I'm probably not going to do it in this life because, um, I only have two weeks. But I'll try. I only have one that I. I keep forgetting about that move. Or specifically the uh, lead up to it, more or less. And yeah, um, anyways, I'm not going to reload my save, though I will save it here. For the reason that I have full health now. But yes. I am completing this game today. And I can probably hit him with my um Yeah, uh, that's the move that usually gets me, but anyways, you can probably get him now that I've learned through Nightmare in Dreamland how to defeat this guy, because let me tell you, it was embarrassing that shit I had to go through in that game, because I thought you had to hit his... Well, it's, all, it's honestly not even really noticeable in this particular game. The first thing in the adventure was not fun green where this had a kind of pendant around his neck which I thought that you had to hit. Turns out all you have to do is hit his sort of cyclone thing, but alas I was completely unaware of that. So I kept trying to hit the small target and die, and I only found out through sort of blunder and error that it's a cyclone yet. <laughs> now the boss does take a long time to kill it for no other reason than he has a lot of hit points. And I'm making this look harder than it actually is, but he's honestly not is that difficult, it's just it's frustrating because he takes so long to kill. He also has a um kinda final end move that was at least a nightmare in Dreamland, so I'm assuming it's here too. My friend with the cancer is having a CAT scan tomorrow. She is nervous as hell, so I'll be checking in on her early, um, periodically. She's one of my, more specifically one of my sister's older friends, but Somehow, over the years, my sister and her sort of drift... Oh crap, I sh thought that... I'm an idiot. Anyways, this time. Anyways, over the years, my... It's no fault of any of their, of their own, but my sister and her sort of drifted apart, and her and I somehow got 
closer. Not sure why that is. Maybe it's because of the, uh, it's like there is less of an age gap between her and I than there is between my sister and her. So maybe that's got something to do with it. It's hard. I don't know why. It's just one of those. She's not even really my an old friend. She's uh, someone I knew who's uh, I known for a long time. Who's a friend of mine now, but twenty or some odd twenty plus years ago, we were friendly towards each other. But we weren't really friends, you know? I am concerned. She's a single mom of two kids with Bible and stage three cervix cancers, so... She's also lived quite the, uh, hard, rough life, but, you know... If anyone can survive this, it's her. It's just a matter of, you know... She really shouldn't have to survive this. She should be... She should be just due to the shit she's gone through, like... Living quite well now, but she's obviously not. She's got this shit going on, which is complete horse shit, but... Like, obviously life's not fair. But every so often, you can't help but wonder, can't you yeah, just give someone a break? Like, haven't they been through enough? And in regards to her, I'm not going to... Well, she doesn't want really to watch this anyways, but I'm not going to mention her name, it's the sort of... I don't know if she wants to be anonymous, but, like... Every so often you can't help but get sick of the universe. Hasn't this person had enough, or... More specifically, haven't I had enough, but I mean... I'm long past trying to get the uh, life in the universe and things to um, treat me justly. I mean, right now I just wanna get, I gotta get past the uh, survival instinct mode and try and find a way to get into a more thrive and thrive lifestyle, but I mean, you've been doing survival for so long, it's very difficult to get out of that mindset, you know? I don't want to check my... I know I've got one, I know I've got one hit because I've heard the, uh, ding, but I don't want to check... Oh, my breasts are the one that's embarrassing, but I honestly thought it was going to hit me. Like, I'm done doing the I haven't I had enough shit because I know damn well life's not going to treat me fair, so I'm gonna have to, like, you know. Well, one of my life tools is life's a bitch exploited, so. That's pretty much what I have to do, but I mean. It'd be nice if life were a lot more fair due to the uh, shit it's given me, especially during my... Okay, there is a sad finishing move I was talking about, so I should be at least halfway. But anyways, it'd be nice if life will just sort of, you know... Gives uh, people a deserving break sometimes. But life is not like that. 
so <laughs> pretty much make do with what you have and it's not necessarily come out on top, but try and come out above, you know. I don't want to come out on top, I've, I'm done, well I've never even really tried to uh, actually go on, come out on top, but I just want to, you know, get a bug. Slowly climb. Oh, it's so close to probably. But anyways, this guy's not really a... It's not really a war of attrition, it's more a war of patience. And I know you can shoot. There are probably ways to... Like here, to use the shooting mechanic, but um... For some reason I just feel... Safer. Sort of spin jumping on him, you know? Don't know why. Uh, I took another hit there, didn't I? Screw me, but oh well. I think I'm what, down to. four hits? Possibly five, but I'm thinking at least four. I don't even want to know how many hits he has left. Because I know he's got, um... For every bar, it's a hit, and... Judging from the, uh... Mini bot, or the form before him... He's probably got more than the, uh... House bar says. <laughs> So I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm really got hit again. Now I'm probably done with half life. So I'm just going to... Cons try and conservatively... Play this, as I say, as I get hit. And beat this guy. I walked right into that, didn't I? I don't even want to know how much life he has left. But I can do this. Like, I'm going... Actually, no, I'm not. I was going to save my game and do it on one light, but... Nah. If I die, I... Die. But I shall not have died there. I shall not have died there. That's complete bullshit. Anyways. I'm doing it on this life for sure. Doing it on this life for sure. And yeah. But anyways, I'm checking I I only found out not that long ago and you know. There, you know, it, it, it's not it's not as if I can help, but I can at least, you know try and make it a little more easier manageable. Less frightening, less excruciating, I don't know. Like, obviously there's only so much one can do. And in the grand scheme of things, I really can't do anything, but... Still doesn't mean you don't... not try. 
Like, I mean... I know it's a situation in reverse, she'd probably do the same thing for me. So, you know... The least I can do when he's trying to do the same show for the same courtesy. But... I mean, to say this is completely unfair is an under... Well, I mean... Then again, is it, is it really fair when anybody gets cancer? But... I mean, this is just... She deserves so much better, and what does she get? Shit on. Actually, now that I think about it, I think the reason uh, her and I have gotten so close over the years is because life has pretty much shit on both of us. And I'm down to one health. doing this over again. Not doing this over again. I can do it on one health even with this. Finishing move like seemed a lot more damaging. Yeah. I think the finishing move had like a small blast in Nightmare and Dreamland and here it just seems to be on it seems to me an almost, uh, you can avoid it just simply by staying under it, but I mean, I'm down to one health, so obviously I'm not going to be testing that theory right now, or ever again, really. Well, I mean, I might probably just stay on my own for my own amusement anyway, just say that. Well, one game, yes, you know. Now that I have, like, so many games at my disposal, there's less incentive to kind of replay, you know? Slowly save my game as I... But I mean, I do replay the games. I mean, I definitely, I've done, what, Kenobi 3 was probably one of my first projects I've done on here. And I've replayed that many times, both for my own amusement and on Twitch occasionally, which I don't do that often, I mean, I've never been much for the live audience thing, so me doing the live audience thing is a sort of redundant, but I figure if I ever have to do anything live in regards to my book promotion and the like. Uh, Twitch is a sort of odd but bizarre way to train myself, prepare myself, pretty much get used to performing live. Because I'm probably going to have to in the foreseeable future. Just, you know. Just saying. Doesn't mean I want to, but I mean if I want my book to be a success, this is part of the 
necessary evil. So... Pretty much shut up and deal with it, Craig. You know? Shut up and deal with it. Like, I knew, I knew it was coming when I wrote the book, it's just, uh... Doesn't mean that I was looking forward to it, you know? But I wasn't, I'll be honest, hey. I have always been a sort of... more of an observer than a... partaker. Which might have to be due to the fact that I'm an iPhone thing autistic as well, but I mean... I've always been more of the, more on the outside looking in than actually partaking, so... But that doesn't mean that it doesn't come with certain advantages, because I've been on the outside looking in, I have a few potential advantages. But, uh, because I've never actually had to put them into practice, it's, uh, you know. It's one thing to think, it's another thing to do. You know? Just, you know. Just say. Like, even now, with the whole promotional thing, I've pretty much been making it up as I go along. But, I mean... My book has definitely sold quite a few copies lately, so I uh, must be... Something seems to be going right. keep doing what I'm doing, I guess, and learn from my mistakes and keep going with what's working well. Uh, I could have sworn in the version there is a much greater area of effects with Dive bomb new. And that should be, uh, that should be enough to me, I was, I mean, I mean, that's the main reason why I've been saving a lot more often. Because I don't know why some of these things are hitting me when I don't remember it being a problem before, and sometimes even afterwards it's not a problem before, so, you know, what the hell is going on, you know? I don't know, but I am... Um, Killing this actor, this video, this. I thought that was going to hit me. I honestly did, which is why I say that. I feel like, I mean, I'll be honest, I don't know how close I am to killing this guy. Because I learned during the Nightmare in Dreamland videos that, uh, when I will stare at his health, I will get cocky in how much he has little, or how little he has left, or, um, I'd look in during the moments of looking and then 
going back up again, I get hit. So, as I said, for me, this is pretty much a, not really a war of attrition, but a war of patience. Just focus, focus on attack, focus on not getting hit, and... Keep doing what needs to be done. Don't look at his health because his his health is his health is going low with every hit. And it doesn't matter if you know how much this he has left or not. You're gonna have to hit some anyways. So might as well just focus on the kill and not. Uh, how much l life he has left, you know, and I'm going to save it. And damn it, I'm it. Why do I have to be itchy playing this game? Why, I guess. I am, for some reason, saving it after every time he does that screen swipe move. Not sure why, other than, um... Yeah, like, see, that didn't hit me, but in previous attempts, it potentially walled up. So... Let's see, what the hell is going on with that? I don't know. Anyways. Shut up and focus on the talking to this guy and... Don't get hit. He's probably only got a few hits left in you. few hits left anyway, so... Like... Five, maybe, give or take? I mean, I guess I could take a quick look at his health when I, uh... Pause the screen or what have you. But again, call it, call it paranoia, I don't wanna... Look at how much. Like that. I honestly saw that was going to hit me because it's hit me many times before. And I did it about time. Whoa. About time, too. Now. I think this is the first Nintendo game I've completed on my channel, isn't it? I mean, I grew up in the age of Nintendo, but be I had a Game Boy. Now, keep in mind this is hindsight, but... When I spoke, when I speak to my dad, and like now, and he said, and he said, "Well, if you wanted a Nintendo, I would have gotten you one." Um, I mean, I never asked for one because I figured, or I figured, I would never get one. At the time when the Nintendo was sort of most relevant, my, like, we were constantly moving because of landlord and financial issues, um, my dad's business failed, I think he was in bankruptcy at the time, like, yeah, I wanted a Nintendo, but I didn't want to ask for a Nintendo because it just seemed so... 
unnecessarily selfish even when I was that young. So, yeah, I didn't grow up with Nintendo, I grew up with a Game Boy and old, like, old computers because that was my father's business. Pretty much PC gaming before PC was even a thing. Like, we're talking about not just the times of DOS, but the times before DOS. So, way back when. I had my Game Boy. My first console was a Sega Genesis. I never had a Sega console after that. I only had one Nintendo console as well, which is the N64, and, uh... I mean, the games I enjoyed for the N64 I really enjoyed, but... When my sister got the PlayStation, I think I used the... I used the PlayStation more for no other reason than my taste of gaming changed drastically. And also, a lot, most of the Nintendo 64 classics are games I just really do not like. Not necessarily bad games, I just legitimately do not enjoy them. The N64 was a sort of 3D platforming console, and simply put, I did not enjoy 3D platformers, especially back in its infancy, so... Yeah, I was getting more into Japanese role-playing games at the time anyways. Thanks for watching everybody, take care and bye.